Yo! What's up, guys? It's me, your boy, B, back here on the flipping YouTube channel. And you see the title, my friends, alright? This could be, or I don't know, because I'm literally playing this live. But I think today is going to be the final video for Amnesia The Dark Descent. Because we are closing in on the end of the game, I feel like, you know? We're approaching the Inner Sanctum. There's only a few more places we really need to go to get to that place. So I think this could be the last video. If I'm wrong, sorry about that. It's not going to be the last video. But I have a feeling that this one's this might be the last video. So if you guys are excited for the end of Amnesia, potentially, in this video. If you guys could, like the video, comment, subscribe. Ya boy did it, alright? Ya boy did it. We beat... A, a, allegedly, one of the scariest horror games of all time, alright? Um, so, I'm pretty excited because I hate horror games. And it's a pretty big achievement for me, honestly. Because I don't be playing horror games like that. Like, you know, I, I like to play the, you know, the fantasy type of games and stuff. You know, and like story-driven games, walking simulators. But, um, we did it here, guys. I told you guys I was going to be doing, completing the entire Amnesia series, and we got one of them finished. So, if you guys are excited for the end, you know, let's, uh, let's do this thing. So, we got our homeboy Agrippa. What up, home? What up, home, Bray? What up, home, Slice? How you doing? So, my boy Agrippa is, uh, really down bad. I wish we could save him. But, um, he's like, he's like being blocked off by like these spikes and stuff, so we can't really get, we can't, we don't really have good access to him. Easy access to him. But anyways, guys, in the last video, if you guys haven't watched that, I highly suggest you guys do. We did the, um, oh, I'm from blanking out on the names. Uh, we did the transept, I know we did the transept over there. We did the torture rooms. And I think we did one more room. I just forgot what it was called. We can find out right now. Let's find out right now. Oh, well, this room right here. The torture room should be beyond here, right? The chancel. Wait, wasn't the chancel the torture rooms? Sorry, guys. I'm getting, My ADD is going crazy. I just forgot the names of these places. Oh, no. The chancel is where, you know, the green lights are. Yeah, this place. Um, but yeah, we did the chancel. We did the transept. I, I think we did the torture rooms in the last video, right? Um, so now, all we have to do is go to the choir to gather the other three stones to complete the orb. We found the three orbs in the, uh, the transept. And Agrippa told us the last three are going to be in the choir. So, you know, without further ado, let's just freaking do this. I hate this game, by the way. Like, not, not because it's a bad game. But because, like, I have to always be playing on edge, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's never a moment where I can just go, Oh, it's time to relax. Yay, everything's good. No, it's, it's always... You know, just scary moment after scary moment. And I'm not the biggest fan of that, like I said earlier. But, um, let's just do this thing, I guess. Ah! I'm closing the door. F that. Alright, so... Oh, jeez. God, I'm like, I'm thinking that, like... My own voice just scared me just now. That's how, like, uh, I don't like horror games, man. I don't like horror games. We got a note here. So we also have to find a note written by Johan Wire, and we have to give it to Agrippa. Agrippa channels Wire. Wire taunts me from the other side. I trusted, I trusted him with my true reason for my efforts, and still he insists on releasing. On me releasing a grip. Oh, wait, what? Uh, we'll read this later. We'll read that later. Oh, was that the note that we needed to give to Agrippa? One note speaks of a mixture made of three ingredients. Okay, that's... I don't 
don't know what that means. God, I just hate having to do objectives, because that means, like, we're not close, kind of. Alright, we'll read it just because I feel like it's, um, important for the game. Hold on, hold on, guys. Sorry, guys. Alright, Agrippa channels wire. So, let's start again, from the beginning. Wire taunts me from the other side. I trusted him with my true reason for my efforts, and still he insists on me releasing Agrippa. Who is this? Is this, um, Alexander talking? How an enlightened man can show such lack of compassion in a seat of power disgusts me. I can't bring myself to part from Agrippa, as he is and has been for centuries my only link to the worlds beyond. Wire claims he tries his best to release me from my banishment. Wait, what? But that he needs me to give him Agrippa first so he can help too. If he could guarantee success, I would happily oblige, but how am I to part from him in my return? Oh wait, what? I would happily oblige, but how am I to part from him in, if, if my return might be denied? I know what they are capable of. I have seen their deception. Optimism is a most hopeless feeling, but I must retain it. I shall prepare for his release. To release Agrippa without killing him, Wire told me to feed him a tonic made from a paralyzer, Vitae, and Tampter. The poisonous fungi should work as a paralyzer. If I can find the internal gland from a large specimen, the choir seems to be a fertile ground for this sort. I should then be able to extract its contents with the proper tools. The Vitae could be extracted as usual from any agonized human victim's blood. I just need large amounts to distill it properly. Remember to collect this during the next torture session. Tamter, on the other hand, will prove more difficult. I don't think it exists in this world. Simply writing the word with these letters looks wrong. I believe it's a property of the secretion in the water dwelling cairn. Oh frick. I think that that's the that's the water monster. The cairn the cairn is the water monster. I will have to address wire with this as he will have to supply me with a host. Also, a properly prepared well should suffice to contain it. Oh, okay. The well. Right, okay. Okay. So, let's begin this freaking nightmare journey. Let's do it, boys. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you guys are excited to watch me wet the bed. Oh, another little special note. In court, the Order of the Black Eagle spew their politics at each other while I sit quietly in place, willfully forgotten. Once in a while, someone will notice me and lose themselves in a silent cower before regaining their senses. They all know I am the one and the same Alexander who helped their fathers and grandfathers to found this great order. I've seen them take their fathers' places, and they too will grow old and pass away, while I remain the same, aged not by time, but by anguish. So it looks like these things, these little like, um, little vials, canisters, whatever, are written by uh, Alexander, or, you know, are notes from Alexander. So I was confused as to who, you know, um, who was saying these things, who was talking, like, who, who was, like, speaking, but now we confirm that it was Alexander. Okay, so that's cool. Looking just for any more sort of like resources because we're low on tinder. We only have five tinder boxes um, This might be the tamter right because we, we gave the we gave the chicken bone to the the Karen or whatever It's called and this is what happened. That's what came out of it So maybe that's Maybe that's what we need for Agrippa to free Agrippa Let's go talk to Agrippa, see if that note is what he was looking for. Good to see. Incredible. Oh, here we go. Recipe, that there might still be a chance. Listen carefully. Alexander is working on opening a gate, a door to another world. It's where he wants to go. If you could put your anger aside, let him open the portal before you take your revenge. Let me pass the gate, Daniel. Please. Find the ingredients of the Pazatonic via this climb, and do so Wait. before you assemble the ore. The barrier keeping you from the inner sanctum will only be breached for a short time, unless everything is taken care of before mending the ore. You won't be able to save it. 
so we have to let Alexander open the portal? Oh, jeez, wait. I don't want to screw this up. All I know is that we do have to administer the antidote before we assemble the orb pieces, so... Uh, let's do it. Everything that we need should be in the choir, I believe, which is beyond this door. Okay, so here we go, guys. Alright. Here goes everything. So we're entering the choir. Carefully cutting the man open made him think this is how father must feel about his craft being an artisan. Relying on one's skill to perform something so delicate grants a certain form of pride. Uh, sure. I don't like this. Everything's lit up. It's gonna turn dark. I got a feeling. I'm scared. It's too bright, you know? It's too bright, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just got a bad feeling. Oh, hell, that looks like I'm descending into freaking hell down there. Alright, so clearly dude is on some freaking Satan ritual summoning circle type shit. And, you know, he got all sorts of weird doohickeys and freaking torture devices going on up in here. Dude is... Uh, I don't know what this guy is on, man. This guy is crazy as hell. He's got like freaking pentagrams and shit. Torture tables, blood stains. Oh, Jesus. 15th of August, 1839. The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons and its cry disarms my actions. I knew it was gonna turn dark. Oh, God! What the fuck? No time to spare. Have to kill another. Alexander produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold blooded killer. Hurry. Can I leave? You can't leave, bro. Alright, we gotta do Alexander, it. Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Paint the man, cut the lines, cut the flesh, watch the blood spill, let it come. Jesus. Alright, F it. Please, I didn't do anything. Paint the man, cut the lines, paint the man, cut the lines. Ooh, Daniel is. The man Daniel's losing it. Wow. I did well. One life for another. You hear me, guardian of the orb? I did all this for you. Now, once more, withdraw your shadow from my domain. Domain expansion? Bruh. Oh, Jesus. I knew everything was going to turn dark. Alexander. There isn't much time. Yeah, Daniel did that freaking domain expansion. Must swiftly. I will do whatever it takes. Okay, so we get a little bit of Daniel recollecting his memories again. Um, oh god! Did we get anything from that? So, yeah, Daniel clearly, clearly losing it, um, clearly being manipulated by, Jesus, being manipulated by Alexander, um, but, you know, like I said, in the last video, I I kind of understand where he's coming from because, you know, everyone around him, as well as himself, is surrounded by death. And at that point, even me, I would want to do anything I could to get rid of this, you know, supernatural horror or whatever is haunting Daniel. 
And I'm not saying, you know, killing people is the way to do that, but, I mean, what other option does Daniel have, really? You know, it, it only seems that death is his only escape. Um, but we find out that, you know, Alexander potentially holds the answer to um, his problems. So, I, I don't know. Daniel is a very interesting character. It, clearly, he was a bad guy in that flashback that we just saw. Um, he was... We, we clearly saw the state of his mental and how broken it was, you know, from hearing his dialogue with D Alexander at the beginning of the game to now. It just seems... Now, it just seems so unhinged and so psychotic and so desperate and you know it, we could just it's just it's just sad really it, it's just sad um so let's see what happens when we click this table after the men had secured the prisoner the ritual began oh we gotta take out we gotta we gotta take down the homie uh a string what do we have the string for Oh, okay, this one's got the stuff on his chest, too, now. So it looks like this room doesn't do anything here. After the men had secured the prisoner, the ritual began. <clears throat> okay, so... I want to figure out how to do the thing that Agrippa said, because Agrippa was like, you have to let... Alexander open the portal so that he can pass to the other world or whatever But I, I feel like everything's gonna happen so fast. I might F it up. I might mess it up, you know, so I might cheat just a little I'm scared guys I might cheat just a little to get that like perfect ending So sorry guys in advance Oh, that was it. That was just one zone, and we're at another zone. Choir main hall. So we're at the entrance hall. Now we're going into the main hall. Oh. The fuck? Okay. What are my intentions, Daniel? Salvation. It used to be yours, but now you only seek misplaced revenge. How do you justify your violence? Is it for the greater good? Are you doing the world a service? It is you who caused all this pain and death. If you had accepted your fate and submitted to the orb when you first discovered it, none of this would have happened. I guess that's kind of true. It is curiosity in league with your selfishness that is killing us both. So we looked over here, and then we looked to the left. So we're in the choir. <clears throat> um, this place looks like the stomping grounds for a scary monster. So I'm being extra careful. Extra careful. And I think I kind of like, you know, put two and two together. But um, Daniel was always talking... Wait, what? Why am I hearing scary music? Okay, there's a monster here. But Daniel will always say, you have to save her. You have to save her, right? I think that has to do with the extra game. I think that has to do with the extra game in Amnesia The Dark Descent, which was like Amnesia Justine or something like that. Dude, something's here. So we are, I am, by the way guys, we are going to be playing Amnesia Justine. Something's here. I'm terrified. Something's here. Something's over there. So we got to be very, very careful. 
So we gotta find like a mushroom here. We gotta get like a mushroom shit. Excuse my language, mushroom. And we gotta get like an ingredient from here. From it. So I'm just navigating slowly because your boy is scared. I'm a little wussy. So we're just gonna start on the right side here. There was a little bridge here, giving us some oil, some tinder. Something is clearly over there. And I'm freaking scared. What is this? Wow, a place to light a lantern? I guess so. Um, let's keep moving. Jesus, dude. The sound design is absolutely horrifying. So yeah, this looks like the stomping grounds for mother freaking monster, dude. So we gotta just be extra, extra careful. There's a door here. Hello? If there's a scary monster around that corner, oh jeez. The wheel is good for keeping your victim still during the procedure. They can be bound around the circumference or simply stretched across, tying limbs to the spokes and rim. All tools are by this point useful, and you may administer the torture in any way you like. But the forte of the wheel is the gaps. When you have decided that the victim shall die, you can smash their limbs Jeez. with a hammer, making them fold in between the frame. But they'll die. Too quickly, I mean. No, don't worry. The human body is much more resilient. They can survive for days until they finally succumb. I'm closing the door. F that. So I'm assuming this is what they're talking about? The wheel? I think that's a freaking torture wheel. Oh wow, a piece of an orb. Oh jeez, is someone here? The murderer's limbs were tied to the spokes of the wheel. They turned the wheel slowly, but with intent. So, uh, the rope secured around his leg stretched and cracked the bone. He no longer had the strength to scream. The two men looked at each other knowingly and took a hammer and struck the victim's chest in a final act of mercy. Probably Daniel and Alexander? Ugh. I'm assuming? I don't know. Is there anything else here that we can get? We just found a piece of the orb, which is nice. Jeez. Oh. My screen's shaking. Damn, we got like freaking Thor's hammer up in this biatch. Too bad we can't use it. Screen shaking. Somebody's here. Somebody up in this mother effer. So we explored the right side. Let's just keep going. We gotta find like a mushroom here, right? Or something like that. Uh, we found it from, uh, in, it can be, uh, as a paralyzer if I can find the internal gland from a large specimen. What? Uh, it, it can extract it with the right tools. We do have a hammer and chipper and some string. Maybe that's what we need? I don't know. Uh, I'm scared though. Something's, something's here. Something's freaking here right now. I don't know what the heck it is, but some mother f is here. No, don't kill her. Yeah, you see, Daniel always talking about a female. He's like, you have to save her, and he said, "There, don't kill her." So it's making me think that. Oh God, there he is. There he is. We gotta hide. I'm hiding in this bitch.
I'm hiding right there if you're I ain't not I'm not going out there. Once you hear that freaking loud mad cow disease type of shit, he's here. And your screen shaking, motherfucker's here. I don't know where, but he's here. You just gotta be very careful. And once you wait it out, should be gone. So yeah. He should be gone now. Um, it looks like there's a broken off segment here. Oh, there's a, oh, I thought that was a ladder. Let's stay crouched because I don't know what the heck could pull up. Um, I was thinking that we could like cheese this like cheese across this place, but I don't think we can even get up here Yeah, I don't think we can So it looks like this is the end of the right side. Let's go back now Hopefully the scary monster isn't there Greeting us with open arms. I would be absolutely terrified. I do want to save at some point as well. Who's there? Oh god. I do want to save at some point just in case we crash. Because last time I took an in game screenshot, we crashed. So I don't want that to happen. Is this the mushroom? So yeah, the, the monster is... Obviously, he's here. He wants to give me a nice hug. But I don't want to return the, the feelings. The feelings aren't mutual. Okay. I actually want him to leave me alone. Um, let's actually just return the way we came. I did see a bridge there. But let's just... Ah, no, let's just go. Let's go with the bridge here. <clears throat> Your boy's not running, by the way. I'm not standing up, by the way. F that. I'm not standing- I don't care what anyone tells me in the comments, I'm not standing up. Your boy is crouching the whole way through, brother. Oh, there he is. Your boy- oh. Yep, scary music is happening. Where is he? It's so hard to navigate here. Oh, is this the mushroom? No. Okay, but he, he's here. So we made it back to the entrance. That's cool. I can't see him. Why is my, like, screen bugging out? Is it because my sanities? No, my sanity's okay. You just gotta be very vigilant. So it looks like we made it to the end of the left side of the room. This is where the room stops. Nice, tinderbox. Um, so a pretty big room. But it looks like we went, we made it to both ends. Uh, and yeah, home, homeboy, dude is freaking screaming like, oh, freaking idol transfiguration type ish. That's the sign to get. That's the sign to get the freak out of here. You know, that's the sign to get the freak out of here, boy. I'm lighting this motherfucker up right now. But yeah, like I said, I do want to get that, like, I want to, um, I do want to, uh, fulfill Agrippa's request. So, I might cheat to figure out how to get that, like, secret, like, the, uh, the ending to free Agrippa. So 
Someone about to pop. He's about to pop up. I can already tell. Bloodstain. Torture device. Jesus. Look at that's the Iron Maiden right there. You seeing that shit? Motherfucker's got the Iron Maiden in this hoe. Motherfucker's got that Iron... Dude, I swear to God, if something pops out of that Iron Maiden, I'm going to poop my pants, bro. Literally. If something pops out of this stinking Iron Maiden, I'm gonna lose it. I'm literally gonna lose it. It's just waiting, waiting to jump scare me. Ah! Okay. Uh, the forger stood absolutely still. The casket had been closed, but a faint light made its way inside. A myriad of spikes pointed at him, glittering as they waited for his body to slip just for a moment. His knee jerked and he felt blood trickle down his leg. In pain, his head fell slightly forward. It took him a while to realize his eyes had begun, had ruptured and begun to leak. Ah! Okay. There should be an orb here. Yeah, let's get this bone here if we need to, if we need to distract the monster just in case he- Oh, Jesus! Just in case he gets a little hungry, you know? But yeah, there should be an orb here. Should be. What the? Oh god, I glitched through the... Rock. Oh, here we go. The orb should be here, right? Yeah, right here. Okay. No dialogue, no, like, mini, uh, audio cutscene. I'm not going in there. I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, yeah, let me just go in here. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. No, 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 no. Okay, we're good. We should be encountering the monster again, I feel like. We, we took an orb. He's probably like, who's taking my orb? Who take my orb? So yeah, guys. So yeah, guys. After the Dark Descent, uh, we are going to be doing am uh, Amnesia Justine, or whatever it's called. This was the female that... Daniel keep on talking about. We gotta make it over there. Yeah, I'm staying crouching, guys. I, I don't care. I don't care. You guys can call me whatever you want in the comments. I'm stay crouched. I do not care. We do have a nice getaway though. We could just go back to the entrance hall of the choir. So if he does, if we do startle the beast, we should be fine. We should be fine. So we just have one more orb to get. Oh, there he is. He's over there, ain't, ain't ya? Ain't you, buddy? My head's on a swivel right now. Literally, I'm 360ing, looking around every damn corner. My head is on a swivel right now. So the pursuit music is happening. So he's here. Don't know where he is. Oh shit, he's right there. Hey, buddy. Is 
he gonna leave? If we just hide behind here, we should be good, right? He's not moving. Get him to go away. If we just stay here, or like my mouse uh, sensitivity is screwed up. My sanity is yeah. My sanity is dot dot dot. Uh, I wish I had like a another rock. Maybe he's tracking me, and I have to run away from him. Yeah, he's not, like, getting closer. to move change locations it's just he's not moving either she deserved it that little bitch i think he is tracking Shit. We're out. We're out right now. We lost our sanity. He's too close to us. We have to just leave this area, I think. We're gonna get back up soon, yeah. In a in a in a um difficult run, run or whatever you want to call it. Like a uh, if you do like the highest difficulty run, you you just die right there. But we're playing on normal mode because I this is my first time playing. So um yeah, let's just let's just try to get away from him. Oh, and it looks like the water monster is here too. We got a whole freaking party. We got the freaking monster party going on here. Freak that, boy. Got to get the freak out of here. I'm about to turn on the freaking light in this motherfucker. Be gone, demon. So I guess we just have to completely get away from here. Is this an area we haven't explored? I feel like we did, right? Yeah, we, we just explored there. Okay, sound, scary sound is gone, so that, mean, that should mean that we're good to go back, right? I don't think he'll be, like, popping back up. I gotta still be careful, though. Like, anything can happen. He was there. Let's just chill out for a little. So we did pass out. We did lose our sanity. But thankfully we're playing on normal mode. So we're good. No need to... Uh, no need to reset or anything. Because, you know, we don't need to. Ah, and this is where the disconnect was, right? Where I tried to cheese... Yeah, this little like bridge here. Tried to get on. She knows. 
maybe she knows. Yeah, it's, we're always talking about this female. I just don't know who the female is. Or it's clearly, clearly it's Justine, but what does she have to do with the story? That's what I'm curious about, you know? My screen's shaking. He might be back. So let's go back to that place. It looks like the the monster was guarding this area. Probably because that's where the last orb is. Uh, I want to, like, save real quick. Oh, shit. This looks like the fungus that we need for Agrippa. Colony of point. The tissue is quite soft. It should be possible to... Oh, Jesus. God. Dude, every little small thing just scares me in this game. Okay, so we got the uh, we got the fun guy. We got the fun guy. I'm not having a fun fun guy time. Uh, what else do we need for our home or homie? <laughs> so we got the fungus. We need Vitai from an agonized human, which was at the entrance of the choir, and then Tamter, which will be more difficult to get. It's the secretion of the water monster. A properly prepared well should suffice. So we have to go back to the well, right? Are we, I'm still, we gotta still be careful, because Monster is still here. Homie is still here. Okay, we got the last room, where the last orb should be. The hell? It's a cow. Uh, I gotta close it. I'm closing the door, bro. Fudge this. Because Homie's nowhere to go. The freaking... Monsters know where to go. Freaking Monsters Incorporated type shit. He knows where to go, so I'm gonna close that shit. This is good sign. We got water here, so... I feel like this might be the place where we harvest the, uh... Where we harvest the, um... Tamp... Tampter? What, whatever it's called. What is it called? Tamter. How do you how do you get it's the secretion of the water dwelling monster? Like what the hell? The trader did not uh, know what to think of the brass bull as he was forced to enter it. Only when the heat of fire began to scorch his skin and cook his flesh did he realize it was to be his tomb. His screams of pain echoed inside the brass chamber and traveled through the complex instrument which was the bull's head. Outside, the men could hear the brazen bull below. Jesus. Screen shaking. Oh, jeez. Okay. Does that mean that the monster's here? What's going on? My sanity is probably... Okay, slight headache. We're good. Uh, it blew the horn. Oh, tinder. And I think the water monster is here, right? We gotta throw something in here? No. We can't even open it now. Uh, let me see. Remains. Maybe we gotta put the remains in here. I'm, I'm scared. Um, that did something. I just don't know what. Let me stay crouched, just in case homie is on the other side of the door. You know? 
Just in case, you never know. Um, maybe we gotta use the glass jar to get the secretion? Hmm. There is some sort of puzzle going on here. It said a well. A string? What? What was that? Uh, what's our uh, sanity? Our sanity is pretty F. Let's just leave. So we could get our sanity back. My screen just turned bloodshot red. Something happened when we... Something happened when we lit the cow on fire. Taking this real- I'm taking this nice and slow, boys. Alright, I don't care. I'm not risking nothing. I'm not trying to see no freaking scary freaking monster Kishin in my freaking face. Heck no, baby. You gotta be careful. Monster was here last time we, we were here. We got a bone here. Oh, that's the bone that we threw. Um... Okay, this is the end of the choir. We found all three of the orbs. This should look like it's about to lead down to hell itself. God damn. Alright, let's get out of here. Monster should probably show up one last time before we leave the choir. Just, just assuming. Makes the most sense, so... I'm, 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 my mi I'm preparing my mind and body right now for anything. I'm scared, y'all. I'm not, I'm not leaving crouch stance. Yeah, bro. My head is literally on a swivel. Like it's literally, I'm on like some bobblehead type shit. Holy, I'm a, I'm an owl, dude. Okay, maybe he's not here. Maybe he's gonna be in the entrance hall. Oh, no, he's here. He's here. He's here. I just don't know where, though. He's here. our way back to the entrance hall. I think we're getting there. See lots of more bones now. Whew, okay, we made it. There could be something here though. 
There could be something at the top of these damn stairs. I got a feeling. I got a feeling that somebody's gonna be at the top of the stairs. Alright? Look up, Daniel. Someone's about to pop out of these rooms. Someone's about to pop out of these rooms, huh? Who's there, damn it? How do we get the Vitae? The shadow. It's close now. The shadow. It's close now. Oh, shut up, Daniel. Shut up, Daniel. Where do the bodies go? I think these bodies are like glitched out or something. Okay, we're back in the nave. Okay, well, we didn't get confronted by a scary beast. That's what I like about this game. There's no, like, cheap jump scares. It's like... It's worse than that. You hear stuff like this. What the fuck? You hear, like, freaking Jurassic Park sounds in this motherfucker. My god damn. Sound like I just hear a freaking Brontiosaurus Rex or some shit. You have all the orb pieces you need. I know I have no right to ask anything of you. But if you could find it in your heart to gather the ingredients for Bias Tuck before attempting to mend the orb, yes? there might still be a chance for you to save me. Okay. Please, my faith is in your hands. Okay, I'm down, but how do I do that? So we have one out of three of the ingredients for the optional ending or whatever. Um, so we got this one. This is, this should be in the choir, right? Because there was all those torture rooms or maybe it's in the torture chamber. The tamter, I'm only- I'm assuming that it's the well that we put the- the meat stick in? That's where it is? You know? I see that all but other than that, I- I don't know where to find these other ones. So I'm assuming the torture chamber is one. And then the well is another. And I'm- I'm still- crouching up in this motherfucker because the last time I revisited a place for the second time I got a jump scare it on me you know so F that I'm not having a freaking another jump scare happening on my ass fuck that fuck that alright we can walk we can run it we can run it so let's go back to the well the only well that I we, we know. The only wall that we've seen this entire game. Or maybe two, three. I don't know. But let's go back there. Um, yeah, I'm crouching here. This shit looks like it's... This shit looks like it's something about to eat my face off. So on the beat, hope. So we can't go back. Uh, where was the well again? Was it here? No, this is the control room. Oh, we got some. We got an oil refill. That's cool. That's cool. I'm cool with that. I don't think the monster's gonna show up here, right? Right? So we can't open. This door won't open. Um, oh wait, the well wasn't here? Whoops. Yeah, 
F that motherfucker about to jump scare me, I swear to god. I swear to god. What's our oil at? Our oil is good. Alright, so here we have- okay, this is interesting though. We got like a side quest here. That's kind of cool. I was not expecting to have a side quest in this game, but... Here we are doing a side quest, which I don't mind. It's cool with me. So, the, the well... I see that all the all pieces you need. The well was in I the transept. No right to anything, but if you could... Oh yeah, it was right here. That's what I'm saying. So this is it. Uh, we have to put the remains on here. No, we have to put more string on here. No. Oh, we put the jar here. What? That's what I don't get. Did we just drop down here? No, I don't, I don't think so. Do we throw? Can we throw something down here? Whoa, it actually makes a, a noise. Hammer and chisel? No. We already, like, we gotta use these remains for something. As well as the string. The string? Oh, we combine it! No. Maybe we put the string on the- Oh, there we go! Okay. Ah. Using my brain here, I'm using my brain! We're using the 10 IQ points that God blessed us with. And then we put the glass jar with the string on here. What? Glass jar on a string. We have to go back to the choir? Maybe. But then where where would we put the string on the transept? Huh. So we do know that we Powered up some sort of pipeline, right? I see that all the old pieces you need. I know I have no right to ask anything of you. But if you could find it in your heart to gather the ingredients. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you, buddy. I got you, pal. We got these slabs here. Well, the only place where there's a body is in the choir, and I'm pretty sure the bottom of the well is where... is in the choir as well, where we saw that cow. I just don't know... Yeah, the bodies are gone now. Yeah, I feel like if we open here... Where did the bodies go? What the hell? How did I get those bodies to pop out? Wait, what does it say again? It probably says something important, right? After the men had secured the prisoner, the ritual began. Oh. Maybe if we go down the stairs and then come back up. That's what procs the bodies to show up. No. Alright, well, we, we did figure something out. You combine the string with the jar. And that's the only stuff that we have. 
Can can be can, according to the note the tonic has to be made with care. So something with the remains. Oh, is this the? Oh, we already got it. Oh, we already got it, guys. I think. Hold on, let me reread this again. I think when we put the meat stick in the well and it ate it, and we got the remains, I think that's the temp the tempter. I think. So now we have to just get Vitai. Is it in the choir? It might not be in the choir. Let's be careful, because I don't think the monster's gone from the choir. I don't think the monster's gone. Uh, if we can't figure out how to get the Vitai, I'm just... What the heck? I think I'm going to just cheat. I don't like cheating. Because, you know, your boy is a... You know, he, he, he claims... I, I, have, I have some big claims on the channel, alright? I say that I'm the, a professional single-player gamer, right? And no professional single-player gamer has to cheat, you know? That's not pro. But if I can't figure it out... Just going to. We're just gonna cheat. It's fine. It's fine. It's not like we're cheating in a multiplayer game, alright, guys? It's just a single player game. So maybe we go to the Iron Maiden, wherever that chick was, and then maybe that's where you extract the blood? I was assuming that it was those dead bodies that was hanging in the choir entrance hall. And you have to, like, extract their blood or whatever but they're gone oh I think I know what to do I think I have to step inside the Iron Maiden watch Maybe not. Why is my screen shaking? Dang, I thought I big brained it. Oh, maybe I did big brain it. Use the item this way. Maybe we have to keep on doing that to ourselves. <sighs> I'm reading, I'm reading. The Vitae could be extracted as usual from any agonized human victim's blood. I just need large amounts to distill it properly. Remember to collect this during the next torture session. So there's a bunch of torture rooms. There's torture rooms in the choir, and there's torture rooms... <laughs> excuse me, in the transept. This one seemed like it made the most sense, though. There's the blood right here. So it looks like it's leaking somewhere. I just don't know, like, how to extract it or whatever. I don't know if this blood was here from before, or I don't know. What the hell am I hearing whispers in my ear for me? Get the frick out of my head, weirdo! I didn't freaking invite you into my mind, the hell? What the fuck I need to get the frick out of my face? Before I smack you, for real. Alright, Iron Lady. Hmm, 
trying to use my brain here. We gotta use this gl Why is there a string on a jar, though? That's what makes me... ...wondering... ...what to do. We did get damaged by it, but now we're not even getting hurt by this anymore. It's very, very weird. Green is shaking heavily, our sanity is going crazy. We might faint soon. Maybe we just have to chill in here for a little bit. I, I don't know. But we need someone who's undergoing torture. We need someone who's undergone torture and get their blood. Okay, our screen is- uh, my screen is like blurring out. I, I don't think this is working. What's making me think that this is like the right thing is I see the blood... ...going into like these drain pipes. So, if we just figure out how to... Access that? I feel like we should be good, right? Maybe we're supposed to lead the monster into there. <laughs> no, that, that's impossible, dude. That monster, the monster will not just go in there, you know? Alright, let's, um... Let's go back to that cow. I want to see if... Maybe the water, like, turns to blood water? Because we we went to the Iron Maiden? I, I don't know. I'm also still being very cautious, because there still could be the monster here. I don't want to, you know... We're going to put some respect on the freaking Mahito's freaking special grade curse, alright? We got to put some respect on it, alright? You can just pop out of nowhere and just freaking slaughter my ass. So, we're, we're putting some respect on him. There could be no one here. Because we already triggered all of the events where he does show up, but... Like I said, I want to put some respect on him. So, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly still terrified. You know, the moment I hear fucking Jurassic Park in my ear, Lamp Before Time face ass... It's over, bro. I'm, 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 I'm startled. I'm frightened, you know? I think this is where the, the, the cow was. The cow did something, though, when we lit it up. It, like, blew some hot air into a pipe, which did something. I don't know what, but I don't know. Yeah, if I can't figure this out within the next, like, 10 minutes, I'm just gonna cheat. The hell? Damn. Yo, Alexander was torturing babies? Hell no. Yo, this dude's freaking freaked up, dude. Dude is effed. So yeah, here's the cow. The, the water's still clear. I might have to just cheat. Nope. I might have to just cheat. Uh, let me think. No, let me think. So, we can go to the transept, right? The other room was the wheel. I don't think this guy- I don't think- I don't think the wheel will have any blood in it, right? I didn't see any bodies. The 
transept. There was no, like, thing where it was just, like, a big pile of blood, you know what I'm saying? I guess we'll check the wheel room, since we're already here, you know? I don't want to just, like, waste it. But we did hear an audio cue of a baby crying, but that could just be the game throwing it out there for you. I'm trying to cheese. Let me cheese this. Come on. Oh. Oh, we cheesed it. Let's go. Big cheese. Alright, let's go to the wheel room. I, I doubt it's going to be there. I was really thinking that that Iron Maiden thing was real smart of me. Oh yeah, he's still here. He's still here. Yeah, I knew it. So you gotta put some respect on that guy. Because he will still show up in the choir, even after you've gotten all of the, uh... Even after you've gotten all of the, uh... Everything you got, in, uh, all the orbs in here, he will still show up. I just don't know how to get the Vitae. I, I, I swear I was like... I swear I was big braining it when I went into the Iron Maiden, but I guess I was small brain. Oh? Which way do I turn this thing? I'm, I'm just looking in this direction, by the way. Oh, I gotta close the door, man. Fuck this. I'm not getting, I'm not getting jump scared from behind. Fudge that. You can actually twist the wheel. It's all like leading, oh no. I thought it was like leading towards a drain. These are leading toward drain. Do we use the glass jar here? No. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. Maybe we twist it this way? Oh, this isn't doing anything. Yeah, this isn't doing anything. We have to, like, get on it ourselves, right? So, my only guess is that... You have to get it in the transept. Cause this shit... None of this shit is working. But then what in the transept? I didn't see like a body there that we could get the vitae from, you know? Alright, it's not- this isn't doing anything. Um, alright guys, I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna cheat. Sorry guys. I'll admit it though. I'll admit it though. I'm cheating. I'm gonna figure out how to get the Vitae. Because I don't know how to get the Vitae. Let me just use this time to save and exit too. It's just in case we, uh, crash. Uh, alright. I'm gonna see how to get the Vitae, guys. Alright guys. Sorry guys. I cheated. So it was in the transept. It was in the transept. So... At least if I were to just keep on playing, we would have eventually gotten it. Because you are, you are supposed to go into the transept. So, hey, at least, you know, I, I could have just, I could have just, I was going to go to the transept, but I just, I just don't want to waste so much time, you know, because we're what? We're an hour 17 in. It's like, you know, I don't know when this game is going to end, you know, but, um, because your boy's crouching the whole damn time.
So, oh, where our sanity's going up. But I'm sorry, guys, for cheating. My bad, guys. There he is. There he is. I see you, buddy. Dang, he's close, bro. He is close. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. Buddy. Don't tell me there's two of them. Okay, no, there's not. So yeah, you do have to go into the transept. I was thinking that we were supposed to go there, but... I just, I can't handle this freaking anxiety and all this stress, man. I'm freaking, I'm freaking losing it myself, man. Your boy is losing his sanity in game and IRL. Okay. So we go to the transept. There should be some sort of station where uh, we can extract the Vitae there. There wasn't a, a monster in the transept, but I'm still gonna be crouching just in case. Just because, you know. I see that all the odd pieces you need. I, know I, I, you know, like I said, you gotta put some respect on the monster. That motherfucker pop up out of nowhere and just freaking attack you for real. So yeah, we are, we were supposed to go to the transept. I, I do feel bad. We could have just figured this out by ourselves without cheating, but I did cheat. I did not spoil anything for myself though, so I don't know what the heck I'm supposed to do. Here, yeah, we're good. We could run. So we have to go to like some laboratory type ish. Where was the laboratory? I do not remember going down here. Is it in here? Was it here? No, I don't think it was here. Yeah, there was no monster in here. So we're good to just run. Um, is the lab? Oh, geez. Is it from this guy? Dude, this guy always pop up out of nowhere and just disappears, bro, I swear. No. R.I.P. to that guy. R.I.P. Okay. All this crazy stuff me and Alexander did to these innocent lives. It's not good. It's not good. Was it here? I don't think so. Maybe it was upstairs? It just said that we had to go to the transept. I just looked at, at the word transept and then I just exit out of it, you know? We do still have the remains. I think that is the, uh... The Karnic or whatever. The Karnic thing. What does this do? Oh yeah, it drops it down, right? Oh, maybe we were supposed to go upstairs. Uh, okay, maybe we were supposed to go upstairs. Because there's nowhere else to go. Oops. Oh god, the stair physics. Hey Alexander, how are you? You're looking very weird today. Wait, what? Is there like some sort of secret book lever? 
We have to pull out. Is it you? Put the remains here? No. We have to hammer this thing down? No. It says that there should be like some sort of lab inside of the transept. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I read it wrong. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back. Oh, okay. No, no, no. I, I am. Uh, no, the Wikipedia is right. So we gotta go. Uh, to the right room. We have to go to the right room, which is here. And there should be like a drain pipe, where we put the glass jar in the string. Uh, in a drain pipe, and then get the Vitae. Right here. Oh, here we go. And then... Glass jar of blood. It is filled with blood. Okay, I don't like the sound of that. So, we're gonna crouch out of here. I know, we're fine, we're fine. Okay, so we have all three ingredients. That should mean... Is this the one I'm seeing at the end of that? Oh, this is the torture, this is the torture room. So that means we should be good. We should be good to create the tonic to give to Agrippa to like free his spirit or whatever. Or like detach his spirit from the husk of the vessel that he's in. I think. That's what he said. That's kind of hard to find though. You know? I see that all the all pieces. That's kinda need. hard to find. No right Alright, so we got this. Can't add anything uh, directly into the blood. The substance needs to be purified first. What? Oh my god, purify, so we need a fire? But if you could find it in your heart to gather the ingredients for bias tonic before attempting to mend the all, there might still be a chance for you to save me. Please, my faith is Okay, I know, but can you help me figure this out? Okay, so now we have to find a place to purify this? What? He refuses to eat it? It won't help Agrippa? I see that all the all pieces. All right, I'm gonna cheat again. I'm sorry, guys. Wait, wait, wait. Oh no, no, I'm spoiling. Sorry, I'm reading how to do this, but I'm sp I just spoiled a little something. Um. So where was that lab? So. I know I have no right to ask anything of you. But if you could the lab, the lab. Oh, I'm blanking. The lab's not in here. I see that all the all pieces you need. I know I have no right to ask anything of you. But if you could find it in your heart to gather the Wait, the lab? Was the lab up here? Before attempting to mend the all, there might still be a chance for you to save me. Alright, so in order for us to make the serum, we have to go to the lab. That's why the lab is right here. But... I see it's barred all off. I know I have no so let me save and exit, just in case something happens. Or just in case we, um, mess up. So we have a save location. Or a save point, I mean. 
But if you could find it in your heart to gather the ingredients... Uh, I kind of spoiled something for myself, which is pretty unfortunate. But, whatever. So I guess we just have to go forward with the um, creation of the orb before we can actually create the tonic. Which is a little bit strange, because it's like, why would we do that before? You know? Okay, do I just run? Dude, what? He can't, dude. Uh. Oh my god, it's just a sleep. Come on, guy. Dude, that was so like close. All right, we get it. Here, you're eating my face off. I know. I'm probably tasting very delicious. Probably taste very, very delicious. Yeah. What the fudge? Okay, this is part- that was part of the story, what the heck? He just threw me in a cell? What the hell? You had me worried. Quite frankly, I'm not sure what to do with you. I hold no grudge against you, Daniel. We are so very much the same, you and I. Did you really drink from the amnesia mixture? It does explain so much of your behavior. You never did finish what you set out to do. You talked about redemption, how you would face the orb, shadow, and save our work, and me. I will grant you another chance to redeem yourself. You can wait here and stop the shadow. Thank you, friend. What? Thankfully, the monster is an idiot, so... You know? Yeah, thankfully the monster's an idiot, so he didn't take any, way of our, any of our items away. But that was actually part of the story, what the heck? So, what is this? And a rod of iron bar? We gotta combine it with this? No. Mustard on the beat, ho. Oh, this, we gotta break this one. Oh, right here. No, no, right here. It's not loose enough? What do you mean? It said no need to waste your time on this. How do I escape? That's so funny. <laughs> the monster just threw us in a cell. Do we use the hammer? Let me out of here! I'm innocent, I swear it! I feel like we need this bucket for something. Um... Okay, well... There's another bar, but it doesn't break. Oh shit. Wait, what? Oh no. Guys, get me out of here. Please. Oh, here we go.
What does this what does this do? Um Lost it on the beat, ho. Oh god, ow, man. Okay, so the goo. Oh, I see. It's broken. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, well, it is broken, but... Man, what am I supposed to do? So maybe we're just supposed to wait here until something happens? I don't know, I don't know. Am I just gonna die in here? Huh. No, we can't like make it out of here. We can move the bed, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Is there anyone else trapped in here with me? Justine, potentially? So, I mean, we could still inter- it's something to do with this. Maybe we gotta throw this thing at there till it breaks. Okay, okay, I get it. You're you want to hurt me bad and kill me, but wait, what am I supposed to do? Do we throw the bucket outside? I think this is just where we die, boys. Cause I am lost. I'm just lost, boys. We gotta throw the bucket at here. Like, we have this iron bar, but like, what does it do? Oh, maybe we gotta combine the iron bar with the jar? Or with the bucket? No. Iron bar with the bed? No. Someone let me out of here! I'm losing it. Everything is- yeah, the, the walls are oozing pink slime. I'm scared. Somebody's using their freaking domain expansion, bro, please. This thing isn't busting off, man. Someone is activating their domain expansion. How does a hammer not get rid of this? Come on, guy. Somebody is using their freaking domain expansion on my ass, please. Help me, help me. That's the only other bar that seems like messed up is this one, but can't do anything. It's not even an interactable object. If it is, it'll like glow. Maybe we gotta use an orb on here? They won't stay together. Okay. Cool beans. Cool beans. Yeah, this thing is not budging. And if we throw something at it. 
I think I'm just gonna, I think this is just my, I think this is just my coffin right here. I think this is where it ends. I'm trying to break through it. Oh, ow, 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 okay, okay. You're, you're annoyed of me, too. I get it. I'm trying to get out of here, too, okay? Now you don't want me in here. The bed is movable. So it's something with the bed and the... God damn, what's happening with the walls and shit? Oh, God, it's, it's just everywhere. I'm just gonna die in here, aren't I? Oh, shit. I think I'm just gonna die in here. I don't know, man. I think we're just dead. Okay, well, that there goes that, so that's not coming back. Um, I don't know what to do. We're probably just gonna have to die, and then reset, cuz... I don't know. It has to do something with this. I, I just... It's not making any sense to me. not making any sense to me. And we can't like jump through here either. It's it's too it's too small. I don't know. I guess our bed is our only safe spot until the thing just overflows with pink goo. I don't know if this is supposed to be part of the game, or we, or we actually supposed to be able to escape. I, I don't know. But, um... Yeah, it, it has to do something with this. I just... It's just, we have nothing in our inventory that could break it. It's movable, but like, bro, I don't know. God damn, this should look like a freaking wart or something, just breathing and all sorts of crazy stuff. All right, I think this is where we die. Why couldn't we get the orb that was like Agrippa's orb? You know? Why do we have to get the evil haunted orb? Okay, we're just dead. Okay, that was awesome. I don't think that was part of the game. I think we actually Thank died. You, my friend. Oh, it's Alexander. Your sacrifice won't be forgotten. You will be celebrated. Yeah, yeah, you can shove it, Alexander. Oh, we died in here! Wait, what? Failed to escape the cells- Wait, 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 wait. Exit out of this shit. The end? That was an ending? Holy shit, guys. That was actually an ending? Bro, no way. No way. I, I don't understand. I, I genuinely don't get that. Let's try it again. So that was an actual ending. We got an achievement called Quitter, by the way. So we have to, we, we're on a time limit right now. You 
We gotta move quick. Quite frankly, I'm not sure what to do with you. I hold no grudge against you, Daniel. We are so very much the same, you and I. Did you really change from the amnesia? Door is locked, find another way out. Amnesia mixture? It does explain so much of your behavior. You never did finish what you set out to do. You talked about redemption, how you would face the orb's shadow and save our work and me. I will grant you another chance to redeem yourself. You can wait here and stop the shadow. Thank you, friend. I'm trying. It has to do something with this bucket. What am I? Oh! Here we go, here we go. Oh! Oh! Give me back this pipe, boy. Give me back that pipe, boy. Alright, we did it. Let's go! I didn't cheat for that, guys. We didn't cheat for that. But now I'm scared again. Dude, I can't believe that's an ending. That's crazy. That's so... That's pretty funny, actually. All right, let's go through each of the cells. So, literally, an ending is you die in a cell um, to Alexander. And that's, that's an ending, that's literally an ending. Uh, last prisoner note, there is little left, let's read because this could be the end of the game and we might not have time to go back and read this, right? There is little left to say. I write solely to prevent myself from revisiting, revisiting the memories of these last few days. If I am fortunate, I will fall asleep and time will pass without effort. I have bega begun to wean myself out of prison. When I first arrived, I felt like I was being buried inside a tomb. But now I feel the closed walls comforting me. As long as I am in the here, there is no pain. The walls protect me from the outside. I even laughed earlier as one of my wardens dropped a key down the pipes. It gave me hope for a second, thinking I could escape if only I could somehow reach it from here. In my dreams, Alexander, I am king. In my dreams, I best you and escape your clutches, and return with all the knights of the realm carrying pistols and sabers. In my dreams. Damn, yo, this is depressing. That's a depressing ass note for real. Alright, let me save and exit real quick. Sorry guys, immersion broken. We're back. We're back. Uh, let me see how long we've been going for. This has been like probably two hours, right? Yeah, we're, we're at an hour 48, guys. So, uh, we're actually pretty good. We gotta still be very cautious of, you know, the monster coming back in. What's in the well, though? Oh, here we go. We can see what it's in here, actually. Oh, we flipped it the wrong way. Oh, there's, there's nothing in here. Do we attach something to it? No. Okay, now everything is really weird. Oh, no, wrong way. There's nothing in here. So we gotta be careful. We gotta be careful. I wanna check out all the cells. There could be like some notes in here. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Okay, that was strange. Who is this? What 
Who is this? That was weird. Are you okay? Ah, he's got a schlong and everything. Dude's got a he's got a freaking wiener. Are you seeing that? Sorry guys. What's in here? It's gonna be a scary loud noise again. Wooden buckets. Okay, that's what we're supposed to put on the well thing. Alright. So it looks like there is some stuff in here that you can do. Back up, right? Picked up a bucket of water. Now, why would I need a bucket of water? Are we gonna pour it on this dude? No. I don't know where I'm at, by the way, so we gotta be careful. It's locked. Now why would... Now why in the heck would it be locked? Um, a bucket of water though. Find a key to open the door leading out of the area. Okay, sure. So maybe there's like something in like a rock in the wall or like a, a brick in the wall. Like how we escaped our room. We got the bucket of water. Oh, I know, we gotta find a drain pipe, right? We gotta find like a pipe. Just like how the note said, like, he heard, like, the warden drop his keys down, like, a pipe. So it might be in here. We gotta check maybe above us. Maybe there's, like, pipe somewhere. Oh, right here. see it coming the heck the heck is you talking about bro the fudge is you talking about bro There is a key in the pipe, but it can't be reached. Oh, we gotta use the iron bar. Oh, we gotta flood it with water. There we go. Okay. Key, we found the key. Do we need the bucket again? Oh no, we can't even take the bucket back. So that's it. Uh, let's stay crouched, because I don't know what could be beyond this door. It's the monster, for sure. Uh, so Okay, we made it out the cells, guys. We died the first time, and that was actually a legit ending for the game. But we made it out this time, so... I'm out. I'm running, I'm running. Just leave me alone! Oh! 
yeah! That was... Yes! Just... Do that! Just block my way with freaking big ol' rocks, won't ya? Oh god! Okay, I'm scared. I'm terrified. I'm terrified. Please, just... I, I don't want... I don't wanna... I don't wanna die. I don't mean any harm. I just wanna go home. Oh! Oh god, when Hazel turned 15, she had lived three years longer than Dr. Tate had foreseen. Her parents had given up from exhaustion and decided to have her committed for permanent treatment at Canterbury Hospice. But she was still alive. She had embraced him and wished him a grand adventure in Algeria. Wait, what? That's us, right? Where am I? It said that we're in the nave. What part of the nave am I in? Okay, what's this? Oh, we're fainting. Oh, oh god. We picked up a note and we fainted. Wait, what? Alexander became silent. He didn't know what to say. He could no longer recognize his friend sitting across the carriage. What do you mean? 18th of August, 1839. Tonight, we will unlock the power of the orb and ultimately banish the shadow hunting me. I feel it closing in on me and I fear for my life more than ever. A word? Just outside Altstadt, there's a small settlement where Zimmerman, a dairy farmer, lives with his wife and three children. visit was unexpected, and Alexander was able to strike that Zimmerman down without alerting the company. Jeez. What's going on? As he went to take care of the farmhands, I began to look for the children. Oh, shit. Yo, Daniel was an accomplice in all this shit. We should have more than enough prisoners to finish the Oh, no. Now. Daniel's fucked up too, bruh. Daniel's fucked up too, bro. Sheesh. So Daniel is not as innocent as I thought. Dude is. Dude went psychopath mode. Oh, okay. We're back. So, wow. So that's why in the beginning, Daniel was like, You hate Alexander, you know? Like, this guy freaking. Wait, let me read. Let me see if we can find the note. Or the. Is it a note? I think? Yeah, Daniel's note to self. So look at this. 19th of August, 1839. Wait, wasn't that the date that he just said? I wish I could ask you how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name of Alexander Brennerbrook still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the interstate to find him and kill him. His body is all weak. Yours is young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing, a shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare breaking down reality. I have tried everything and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape as long as you can. Redeem us both. Daniel, descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him, your former self. So, wow, that's, that's that. Hey, why is my screen looking all funky? What are we lifting up? What am I lifting up? There's nothing. Hello? We gotta find a bucket. Can we go back in here? No, we can't. 
need a bucket. Maybe it's in the next room, but let's just check everything in here first. Okay. No bucket in here. It feels like I want to ship. Like I'm rocking back and forth, you know? Uh, it looks like there's no bucket in here. Let's fill up some oil skis. Let's get a little double oil... A little double oil refill. We gotta also be careful because the, um... The monster could be here too. Oh god, is it part two? Oh shit. Wow, this is the... This is the, the nave, yeah. It's all messed up. Jeez. Oh wow, new new um, items showed up though. That's cool. We need to find a bucket so we can attach to the well, and we can get whatever's inside there. So we gotta be careful. We are in a kind of a new zone, so we gotta just be very careful. There could be monster. Should be the staircase, right? Yeah. I'm being extra careful. Monster could be here. Let's just be careful. We just gotta be careful. So it looks like the shadow is it's 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 here. It's here for sure. Turn on our lantern. I'm just gonna start running. Fuck it, actually. Fuck it. If we die, we die. If we die, we die. Let's try to find a bucket to... Here, I'm hearing things, man. Let's try to find a bucket so we could put in that well, right? Unfortunately, we couldn't get the bucket from the cells. So... That's not good. But we are getting closer to our homeboy Agrippa. Hopefully he's okay. God damn, man. This freaking barrel out the way, man. Oh. What is this? Oh, this is the lab! Okay, so we can now make the ingredients, right? What is the- man, what's up with all this freaking like... Thomas Edison freaking bullshit going on? Benjamin Franklin type shit. Uh -huh. What the fuck? Man, what is all- man, what is all this junk, for real? This is what we gotta do to make the, um... Make the tonic for uh, Agrippa. Heat is streaming out of the compartment. Okay. The blood needs to be purified before putting anything else in it. Okay, let's. No, that's not where the blood needs to go. Oh, right here. There we go. Is there a door here? I'm about to put a chair. I'm about to blockade this shit off. Ain't nobody coming here while my back is turned. Frick no. I'm about to blockade this ish off. The whole time, if something were to come here, it could get through that easily. Easy peasy. Chill out. You picked up an incomplete tonic. Okay. We put it here. What is this? Oh, here we go. And then we do this. 
What does that do? We gotta use, like, the remains. Maybe we gotta, we gotta put the, man, this is like some freaking, like, science fair type shit. Oh, here we go. Do we put the poison gland in here too? No. Should not process with the heating process until a container is placed properly? Oh. Fuck. Who's there? I'm hearing, like, the Jurassic Park sound and shit, you know? We gotta use the poison gland. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. There we go. It's not income. It's not complete yet. And then we put the, we put it right here. And then we go boom. Ooh, yo! I feel like freaking Einstein right now, boy. Weyer's tonic. Let's go. Okay. So we did it. We did it. I feel like freaking Albert and Einstein. Some freaking like Thomas Edison, Jefferson type shit. Motherfucking. We kinda lit right now. Alright, let's go. I think the end of the game is approaching. I think the end of the game is approaching. You better not pop out right here. Okay, he's here. The castle crumbled, and I could feel the chance of collapse. The laboratory might be accessible now. Yeah, it's accessible. Can I get- Ow! Can I give you the thing? The time is completely according to Wayer. Oh, here we go! Here we go! Quickly, off with the head! And then, whatever happens, get me through that gate. Wait, what do you mean, quickly off with the head? Uh, hold on, let me go back. Ow, ow. Oh, whoa, a new place opened up. Oh, I think this is where we're supposed to go. He said the chancel is, um, collapsed. So that means that through here, it's probably, we can't go. Right? Shit got They said that the chancel collapsed, right? If it wasn't for Alexander, he would still be innocent and be able to die, so... Oh, let's go back. She cried and struggled as he pulled at her arm. Her flowered Sunday dress ripped and she fell into the mud. I was just running because I heard freaking so freaking land before time looking ass type shit. So you already know your boy had to get up out of there, boy. There is like new stuff though, or at least like um, consumables that have like appeared to like pick up resources. Uh, and there was that whole little back hall area. Maybe that's where we find the, uh, the, um, the bucket. So let's, let's not, let's, you know, let's take our time. Let's get our money's worth, even though I spent, like, two dollars for this game. Jeez, we got that freaking... Who was that dude from the Fairly Odd Parents with the big-ass wart on his face? And the wart was, like, evil? That's what that shit reminds me of. I forgot what his name was. He had that evil wart on his face. Face ass. Uh -huh. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we get like oils and stuff. So that's cool. Yeah, some new some resources like load up. Um, dude, I'm blanking on that guy's name. But he had the boil that was evil. The evil boil. And it was like talking to him and like saying all sorts of crazy things to him, you know? It's like jeez. You should hurry, Daniel. No time for sitting around. Yeah, yeah. I just want to see if there's anywhere we could, like, go back to, you know? Whoa, our oil ran out just like that? What the heck? 
I just want to see Agrippa if anything we could do. And I appreciate your company, but I believe you have more important things to take care of. Yes, I know. We gotta save the world. All right, let's see what this is. It's probably where we find the bucket, right? Probably where we find the bucket. Why can't we lift that grate up? Picked up a bone saw? The hell? Now, what in tarnations will we need with a bone saw? I'm absolutely frightened, by the way. A bone saw, maybe to open this door? A surgeon saw for amputation. Oh, we gotta cut off Agrippa's head, right? So this is where... This is what this room was for. But then, what about the bucket? We need a bucket for the well. I'm about to Google that shit. Off with your head! Sorry, Agrippa, it's 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 for your own good. Jesus! Okay. I wanna get the perfect ending. I wanna get the perfect ending. So I might have to I might have to look up cheats again, guys. I'm sorry, I know. I tell you guys, I'm a professional single-player gamer. See, now why can we open this, though? That's so strange. You know? Do we have anything that we could put in there or grip his head? Wait, why can we open that? The last time we could open something like that, it was for some secret stuff. Right? It's too many options. I'm gonna pass this body like I'm John Stockton. Or what did he say? I'm gonna pass on this body like John Stockton. Who's John Stockton? I don't even know who these people are. Like, why can we... I just don't want to miss anything, you know? Like, I want to, like, have a... Like, the true ending, you know? And I just feel like we need a bucket. Maybe we could open this again? No, we can't open that. Uh, my oil, we need to stop using the lantern. I need to stop using the lantern. This thing is just completely blocked off, right? Yeah. Okay, what did Agrippa say, though? Maybe we could just read it here. Um, an orb is in it, blah, 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 shattered pieces, lies scattered in the torture room, there's a pedestal, and the chancel has a depression in it. That could fit. Okay, yeah, mystic barrier blocks pas passage in the chancel. Okay, what? Um, uh, Agrippa channels wire? No. Because, like, I forgot, like, what did he say? He said we have to let... We have to let... Um... Alexander open the portal and then we have to let him in or, or something like that. I don't even know, man. Like, there's gotta be something to that well, you know? Like, it's not there. They don't just put things there that you can interact with that have nothing to do with it, right? Unless maybe that is. I, I don't know. Because we have that, um,. That, uh, that drain pipe that we could lift up, right? You guys saw that drain pipe that we could lift up? And... It was just, like, nothing in there. But, like... Why would they put that there? I'm about to just Google I'm sorry, I'm cheating, I'm cheating. Sorry, guys. 
Ah, I see. Okay, okay. Okay. So, the well for the nave that was, you know, infected by the shadow, if you didn't get the remains from the meat stick pause the first time, that's the second chance for you to do it if you missed it the first time. So, let me see what that... Um, the drain pipe in for the um, boat where the bone saw was the drain uh... okay sorry I, I I think I kind of just spoiled shit for myself but fuck it it doesn't even matter okay I don't know what that drain pipe was for where you can lift it up and there's blood in there I don't know what it's for but I just wanted to figure out how to use Agrippa's head, you know, because I don't want to be in the situation like how we were in the cell and then we just die and then lose. But like, what's the point of this, you know? Ah, uh, whatever. Man, let's man, let's freaking end this motherfucker, Alexander. Freaking, we're about to have a freaking domain expansion battle with this lame ass. <laughs> About to whoop this dude's ass for real. We gotta whoop this. We gotta whoop this dude's ass. All right, let's go, baby. Let's freaking go. We gotta assemble the orb at that freaking portal of lightning and freaking thunder. And we gotta freaking frick this dude up, bro. Right, I'm crouching though. I'm crouching though. We crouching though. I'm gonna save s somewhere just in case we mess up. Say before, just in case we mess up. All right, so we're back at the chancel. Do that. We're back at the chancel. Oh, and this shit is affect. This shit is infected. This shit got that T virus going on. Let me save here. We gotta get a uh, nice screenshot as well, so we can get a cool thumbnail. So hopefully we don't crash during that time, because I crashed. Um, one time when I took a screenshot. Is the monster here? Oh wow, the whole right bridge just left. We can actually go to the left bridge though. I want to see. I want to explore. You know? Let's just take our time. There could be some cool goodies that we get. Like this! Like a note right here! 1839. I cannot believe what I have become. One of the girls escaped and I chased after her all the way upstairs. I hunted her down and... Sheesh, what Daniel. What is life worth? How many lives can I take before I surrender my own? Sure, I would kill a murderer to save an innocent. But to kill an innocent to save myself? Yeah, Daniel, he, cold, he lost it. blooded murderer. He's just as guilty, you know? He's, uh, he's just as guilty. In the beginning, he wasn't, but when he started, you know... When he started... Entertaining... Alexander's... And, sorry, I'm on edge right now. When he started entertaining Alexander's uh, antics... And he started becoming a monster himself... That's when, you know, that's when it, that's when shit, shit went bad, you know? What is the purpose of this? Ow, 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 why, why, why did I get hurt by that? What's the purpose of this? Oh, look at that! We gotta, like, uh, jam the cogwheels? For, like, some something secret, maybe? We need something large, though. I can't pick anything else up in this room. 
Let's go to the let's go back to the previous room. We need like a big long stick, no ditty. Big long stick, no ditty. So the hammer doesn't work. Can we take off something on here? No. Let's try can we pick up this? Or this or Oh, a rock, maybe. Let's try a rock. Okay, uh, it's gotta be the iron bar, right? I don't even know if we're supposed to do this, but there is something that uh, we can do here. Oh, here we go, big rock. We got a big boy rock here. This will surely jam this mother effer. hi -ya! Ow, 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 okay. What did that do? I'm confused as to what that did. Do we have any mementos telling us what that did? No, we do not. I mean, we, we shut the machine off, but... I don't even know what that did. Um, okay, well, we, we did something, clearly. I don't know if we were supposed to do that. But, we did it. Alright, let's continue back to the Inner Sanctum where our homie, well, not our homie, oh god, where Alexander is. We're about to have a freaking, uh, freaking domain expansion battle with this lame-o. About to see whose domain is stronger up in this biatch. Okay, so now we gotta assemble the orb. The pestle is smooth. Okay. Okay, we're doing it. I'm doing it. We're doing it. Boom! Collected the piece of the orb and rebuilt in it, it in amnesia. Okay. Okay, so. Oh shit, you seeing this shit, guys? Oh my god! Closing this shit. Actually, I'm leaving this shit open. Oh, and we did it! Oh god, alright. Here goes everything, boys. We're entering into the belly of the beast. The Black Eagle, the inner sanctum. Alright, let me save here. Just in case we mess up. Just in case we mess up. Because we gotta like throw Agrippa's head into the portal or some shit. And like, I don't even know. I don't know what's gonna happen. But alright. Alright, Alexander. Let's go, baby. Let's have a freaking Jujutsu Kaisen battle. Have a uh, battle of the domain expansions. Malevolent Shrine! Yeah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, jeez. Alright, your boy is crouched. Yeah, we got freaking Jurassic Park up in this business. All right, no, we don't need to crouch. Ah. What's going on? the hell? Ow. Okay, so we like put a blood sacrifice in there or something? I don't know. A wound is bleeding quite badly. 
No, we are not. All is good. Okay, I don't understand. There's still another little puzzle? Come on, guy. Just freaking show me where Alexander's at. You gotta freaking send this dude back to the Shadow Realm, boy. Oh, shit. August. Revenge. It's not fair. I'm not to blame. I've been manipulated by that demon. He played my guilty conscience and duped me into facing the shadow alone. That vile, conspiring man. He expects me to meet my death as he steals power beyond imagination. I mean, Alexander, seems like an I asshole. Kill you for what I you can't have done. believe you were surprised if by only that. If the shadow had caught me in London or Algeria, I wouldn't have to suffer this humiliation. You made me a murderer. A monster. Sheesh. Now, I merely await my death. I'm too weak to press on. Come on, Daniel. No, we're I'll doing this. As my knees fail me. I cannot see as my eyes are dressed in tears. I'm as broken as the men I've tortured. If only I could wipe my fear away, as we did with them. Sheesh. Yeah, dude got all sorts of freaking Necronomicons up in this biatch. Motherfucker need to go. Ah! Satan, freaking pentagrams, fucking Necronomicons. Hey, get your freaky ass out of here, Alexander. Freaking hey, man. Can we open now? What the hell, man? What's going on? So that's supposed to stay down. Uh, search for a way to open it. Yeah, okay, that's a great note, my friend. Thank you for telling me. Oh, uh, we already gave us the little blood sacrifice here, right? Oh, God damn. Hello? I see it. The light. I don't know. I don't know what that was. What am I supposed to do? Just go to the little pentagram thing again? So we gotta go like, zip, 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 zip. And then we go in here. Oh, it looks like that opened the door. Oh my god! Who was that? Why am I hearing heavy breathing? Oh, the how, 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 the shadow. Huh. Okay. Are we about to have one final bet? Are we about to have one final battle with the monster? I hope not. Alright, Alexander, are you in here? Orb chamber. Oh shit, guys. Oh shit. Alright, let's go. All his life he had thought that he was a good man. Terrible deeds were only committed by terrible people, like Henry Bedlow, the bully in school. But now he had seen what he himself could do. Jesus, what's this? I was wondering if you God damn! Who the fuck is that? Is that you, Alexander? Tell me, is everything nice and clear now? Am I the villain? Good and evil. Such comforting concepts, but hardly applicable. Are you so blind that you see no good in me or evil in a gripper? Screenshot. Fuck! We crashed! I knew I was gonna crash. <laughs> Let me see if we got the screenshot though. We did get the screenshot. We're good. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. All right, guys. We're this looks like it's the end. So that's motherfucking Alexander, yo, dude. Have a, we're about to have a freaking domain expansion battle with his lame ass. 
I don't know where continue leads me from. I hope it leads me from where we saved. Oh, it leads me here. Okay, perfect. Yeah, we might have a domain expansion with this asshole. I see a Grimla convinced you to run some errands. Tell me, is everything nice and clear now? Am I the villain? Hell yeah, you are freaky ass. Such comforting. Look at this guy. But hardly applicable. Dude ain't even a human anymore. That you see no good in me or evil. Only in a gripper. Oh my god, we crack dude, are you serious, bro? Usually it doesn't mess up like this bad. Alright, we're just gonna I'm just gonna have to use that one screenshot that we have for the thumbnail. My bad guys, immersion broken. I, I just like I wanna take the screenshot for a thumbnail, but it's just it keeps crashing. I won't do it anymore. Let's just let's just fully immerse ourselves in this Alexander domain expansion, freaking domain battle. All right, ass wipe. You got any final words? Hell yeah, you did. Oh, ow! Is everything nice and clear now? Am I the villain? I'm gonna take one more screenshot. I'm sorry, guys. This is gonna be a good one right here, up close and personal. But hardly. We might. We're gonna crash, but. Are you so blind that you? This is the last one, okay? Or evil in a gripper. Dude, that's crazy how it crashes it every time. Dude, like... Sorry, guys. Okay, last time. We're not doing it. We're not... I'm not doing that. We have enough screenshots now. I just want multiple photos. My bad. My bad, guys. I'm not doing that again. Alright, sorry. Uh, Amnesia Justine coming soon. I gotta take a fucking break after this. Because then we're gonna play Machine for Pigs... Rebirth and then bunker after this show. So it's like, dude. I was wondering if you were going to show up. I'm here. I see a gripper convinced you to run some errands. Tell me. Dude's got his schlong out and everything, man. Freaking put some fucking underwear on, guy. Indecent asshole. And evil. Such comforting concepts, but hardly applicable. Are you so blind that you see no good in me? Or evil in a gripper. Nah, you're just evil, bro. What am I supposed to do? Wait, what am I supposed to do? It says that it's on the verge of falling over. Okay. What do I do? I gotta use the iron bar on this hammer and chisel. What am I supposed to do? We gotta like run into it? Ha! Huh. Can you say something? What am I supposed to do? How do I stop you, Alexander? Or I wanna have a domain expansion battle with you. I don't know what's going on though. Oh, maybe we gotta push it this way. Hello? Do you see it? Oh, here we go. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Oh, wait, we gotta throw a gripper's head in this biatch. Man, get your ass in there. Oh. You can finally return home, man. No, your ass going, your ass dying, bitch. Yo ass fucking dying, motherfucker. Oh, here we go, here we go. Okay, we gotta throw a gripper's head in here, right? And get your ass in there, boy. You have ruined us. Got your ass. Uno reverse card, biatch. 
Yeah, I hit him with that domain expansion. What up, guy? Is he dead? Oh, Jesus! What the fudge? That was the boss, the final boss battle? Yeah, we had to send his ass back to hell where he came from, man. Freaky ass, 300 year old freaking weirdo. What is this? So we're seeing like the rose petals that we've always been seeing or whatever, the blood droppings or whatever. So we threw Agrippa's head in the portal. That's good. I thought it was going to be much more complicated than that. I didn't think we needed to like Google the answer. Or I, mean, I did think that we needed to Google the answer, but I guess we didn't need to. Oh, all right, we can move. Oh, so we got to move. So we're in. There he is. Do you see him, Vaya? He deserves so much more. So we got Johan Wire. Help him. I know you can. And then Agrippa. Basically vouching for us, saying we're a good person. Don't worry, Daniel. It will be all right. Okay. Oh. And bright lights. And what's up next? So we like died or something? Why did we like fell to the ground? Now we're seeing stars and shit. We got. Oh. And that's it? Okay. I think that's it. We didn't get like an achievement or anything. Or wait, did we? Maybe I missed it. Maybe just so much stuff was happening. I missed the achievement. We got an achievement for throwing Agrippa's head in the portal, I remember, but. I was expecting an achievement for beating the game, too. And we can actually just skip the credits. The end! Oh wow, the end. What is that on the bottom? ODN314? They had a, no, a letter and number combination when we died in the cell. That was different than this. And there we go, that's the end. Oh wow, oh wow, and it just, it just ends like that. Okay. Um, okay. So, that's... That's it. That's Amnesia the Dark Descent. How do I do Amnesia Justine? Is it custom story? Must select a custom story from the list. Normal mode? No. Change profile? We access Justine when we... Oh, no, 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 no. What the heck? Why did I delete... No, no, don't delete that. How do I... Do the Justine? Hold on, let me look up how to do Justine. Alright, guys. So, we gotta do Justine when we... When the, the launcher... Sh uh, up before we even load up Amnesia. We gotta, like, go to the launch or something like that. But that, my friends... Is Amnesia the Dark Descent completed... By your boy B. Alright? Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go we did it i hate horror games and we freaking did this here um i will say though that final interaction with alexander you know maybe it was because we freaking crashed the game taking screenshots like four times but it was a little bit underwhelming um i was expecting more mechanics to that final boss fight it said it was like the pillars are weak and they could fall. And it, I felt like I kept pressing them over and over again and nothing was happening. And then after like a few minutes of just Alexander just looking at me, he opens the portal and and then we throw Agrippa's head in there and, and then the, the game ends. Um, but I will say that that final boss was a little bit lackluster I, I was expecting maybe some sort of more mechanics when it came to like those little like electric prongs or whatever those things were um maybe something was supposed to happen but it glitched out i don't know but i was thinking that like the pillars were supposed to fall over and we're supposed to stop him from opening the portal but he ends up opening it anyways um I, and you know i definitely want to say that you know, I understand that this game is really, really old, so... Well, not really, really old, but pretty old. I think it's, like, 10 years old. So, you know, I'm not really, like, expecting much, you know what I'm saying? Um, 
But let's go over just a little review of my thoughts on Amnesia The Dark Descent. I will say as a game over at, for an overall score of the game, overall score of the game. I'll give it I'll give this like a solid like 8.7. I don't think that it was good enough to be a 9 out of 10. I feel like they could have added more cutscenes. They could have maybe visualized the um, flashback dialogues more. And gave us more of when we saw towards the end of the game. Where we read the note in the nave after we came back in the shadow overtook it. Where Daniel fainted and he woke up in the village outside Altstadt. I would have liked those flashbacks be a little bit more visual. For literally the entirety of the game. That was the only time a flashback dialogue thing was visualized. Where we saw it like actually come to life a little bit. Um, and that was, like I said, that was the only time. And there were so many times where we get those flashback dialogues. You know, giving us great, important story information, but it just... It was hard to retain because me, I'm more of like a visual kind of person. So I like seeing when we went to... Al when we flashed back to Altstadt, I like that. And I get it, there were so many flashback dialogue scenes or whatever where it would become a little bit excessive at a point if you were, if you were to visualize everything and put like a... A cutscene kind of thing for every single one but for like the more important ones I feel like maybe they could have added a little bit more um, that was like my only issue with the game was that following the story was a little bit um, it was it was not hard to follow but it could have been easier to follow if that makes sense had they you know given the flashbacks more, you know, imagery and more actual, like, you know, cutscene type of vibes, like how they did when we visited Altstadt with Daniel and um, Alexander. We hear the kids, like, screaming, and we hear Daniel talking over the, the cutscene or the in-game cutscene where he's like, you know, we captured the kids and we, you know, killed them and whatever. We brought them back to the prison, whatever, whatever, right? Um, I would have liked a little bit more of that. Um, that's why I'm not giving this game a 9 out of 10. And not only that, um, I will say that a lot of the, um, Johan Wire definitely, he was, like, mentioned, like, one time. But he played kind of an important role in this, you know, um, you know, what the orb does. And, like, he had, like, a pretty good understanding of the orb as well as Agrippa too you know because they were like they they wanted or Alexander wanted what Heinrich Agrippa and Johann Weyer were able to do right they were able to like you know transcend whatever and have like the orb be on their side or I don't I, I it's kind of hard to follow but that along with the Alexander last confrontation felt very underwhelming but aside from that everything was amazing as a horror game it's it it's insane if you you know um if you're not a big horror fan and you get into this game it you are gonna get scared uh, I'm pretty sure if you're like a horror enthusiast it might not scare you as much but you know um the sound design, the, you know, was amazing. Sound design was amazing. Um, the level design, kind of generic, you know, it was always just like a left hall, and then a right hall, and then a hall leading straight forward, north hall. You know, a north hall, west side, east side, and that, that was pretty much the layout for the game. Um, it did have some intricate puzzles, but for the most part, not really. Um, I will say though, you know, I was kind. I am kind of talking smack about, it, but I do enjoy the story. I do like the story of Dan, and I do like our main character Daniel. I think that his story is very, um, it's very well told, and I think that his 
uh, personality and all that stuff is very he's very likable um, he's very you know it's very easy to um, feel empathy for his situation you know even though we know that he you know took this no pun intended dark descent into you know um, madness or whatever you want to call it um, I, I, I do still feel for his character because, you know, he was being hunted by this orb, this shadow. It was causing death around him. He, his back was against the wall. He didn't know what to do or else he was going to die next. So he just, you know, took the, like, the, the next hand that would help him, the next hand that would feed him, which was Alexander. But little did he know, Alexander was some crazy, ethereal, you know immortal being who was like evil as shit you know and he was just only using daniel to just you know gain more power um i would have liked more explanations for that more explanations for the orb because the orb was pretty vague they did find it in you know algeria and there were there are multiple orbs it was said in the game that like kings of past centuries would be um, drawn in paintings with the orbs and stuff, and we also had a little bit of a of a of a situation with the orb where it was not causing the user negative effects. I think with Agrippa, it actually helped him, right, or something like that. Um, so I think that was a little ambiguous. It could have used a little bit more detail, um, not too much. If that was the creative. Uh, decision to leave it a little bit ambiguous that's fine if that's your artistic choice that's fine you know but just maybe a little bit more information about this orb because you know we're doing all this stuff to gather the pieces of the orb to enter the inner sanctum but I don't even know like what the purpose of it was you know and whose orb did we assemble were we assembling our orb or were we assembling Heinrich Agrippa's orb I, I maybe they did tell us but I kind of forgot um, so there were still a couple of like maybe some plot holes some things that could have been strengthened for the overall story that's why I'm not giving it like a 9 out of 10 I'm giving it this I think an 8.7 is good um, it's teetering on being a great game but it is just like I think personally in my opinion it's just a um, a pretty good game at a 8.7 um, definitely very very scary I will say that I enjoyed how the game didn't really resort to cheap jump scares they resorted to just atmospheric horror sound design to really you know um, creep you out the chase scenes with you know where the shadow is chasing you you know yeah, that, that was pretty creepy um, but yeah, it was a good game. I love the setting of the place. It's in this creepy ass castle. Um, there is this like Order of the Black Raven or whatever it was called. That also could have used a little bit more, um, detail, more strengthening. Could have used a little bit more spine. Because as far as I'm concerned, the Order of the Black Raven or Black whatever... We don't really know anything about it. It's just some organization that I think, I guess, Alexander leads. And it's obviously having to do with, like, the orb and, you know, supernatural phenomena and, you know, whatever horror stuff. Um, but that could have used a little bit of strengthening. So this, the game did have its flaws. But overall, I would say it was a very solid game. Um, yeah, I think I stick by my rating of 8.7. I don't think it deserves a 9 because it 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 didn't it just it could have used more, you know. And and I feel like, you know, maybe adding more of those like flashback cutscenes would have maybe ruined the horror element of it, you know, because this game is very good at making you feel very claustrophobic, very um alone until the end, obviously when you meet Agrippa. Um, so maybe if they added, like, cutscenes and stuff, it would have broken the immersion or broken that, like, feeling of being alone and stuff. But, you know, I, I, I will say, though, just, you know, I did still enjoy the game. It was really, really fun. It was really, really scary. 
Um, I will say though, after a while, it became you know less scarier, um, but still really really scary. So hopefully that you know review brought all my thoughts together coherently. I kind of I don't write any I don't write anything out. I'm just you know speaking off of the top of the dome. Um, but. Yeah, that, the game was pretty good. I, I will say, you know, just, you know, level design, pretty generic. Like I said, it's always just a left haul, a right haul, a haul leaning forward, you know? It's, it's never, it doesn't really get too intricate than that, you know? But the, the hide-and-seek games, the horror, the story, the character, our main protagonist, I thought they exceeded very well with that, um... But let me keep this short because this video is really long already. So with that being said, that concludes Amnesia The Dark Descent. I'm giving this game an 8.7 out of 10. Really good game. I would recommend it to people even after, what is it, like 10-12 years after it's been released. It still holds its own um, even after this many years after release. It's still fun. It's still creepy. It's... It's cool, there's, you know, some secret ending stuff where you make the tonic, or you choose not to make the tonic. There is a ending where you die in the cell. You know, it, had, it has like, you know, a little bit of layers to it. It's got a little onion vibes to it. So I like that. It's not super linear. It is obviously an extremely linear game, but when it gets towards the end, you do have options where it, you know, becomes... It, it, could, it could go off in a different path. So I did like that. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's going to be it for Amnesia The Dark Descent. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that playthrough. Amnesia. So now that I'm seeing this, we have to do... A machine for, We have to do a Machine for Pigs, Rebirth, Bunker, and... So I thought we had to do three more Amnesias, but we have to do four more. I don't know how long Justine is going to be. But we gotta do Justine. So Justine's next, then Amnesia, A Machine for Pigs, then Rebirth, then Bunker. So we got four more Amnesia games. God damn it. Guys, I I don't know why I signed up for this, but if you guys are enjoying this, please like, comment, subscribe. It helps the channel out. It's gonna help me out because I it's gonna make me know that I'm not doing this shit for freaking one view, you know what I'm saying? Or one like, so. I appreciate you guys, everyone who does do that. And, and you guys have been liking the Amnesia series videos. Like, you guys have been clicking the like button. So I'm thankful for those of you guys who are doing that and leaving comments and leaving views and stuff. So thank you guys for listening and doing that. So for those of you guys who do do that, thanks a bunch. If you guys want to say, I like the video, then I'll know you did it. You know, I'll know who did it. So if you want to let your boy know you did it. Um, you can comment down below, because the first video I uploaded for Amnesia got 5 likes, and then after that, everything's above, like, 3 likes, you know? So, people have been liking the video, and granted, I like my video too, so, technically, minus 1 on everything, but, that, that, that's neither here nor there. Um, so thank you guys, everyone, for liking, commenting, subscribing. Next video, I think I'm gonna take a break, I don't know, maybe not, because I, I'm not really in a position to be taking breaks, I know I gotta be grinding. So, potentially tomorrow, we're going to be seeing Amnesia Justine, and then however long that's going to take, um, after that, we're going to go straight into Machine for Pigs. And then, um, like I said, after that, we're going to do Rebirth, and then Bunker. Just follow it in the order that the games came out in. Um, so, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the series. That was The Dark Descent. Um, I do like the name. It definitely is. Uh, a dark descent into Daniel's life. You know, we see how he went from, you know, normal dude to murderer, psychopath, freaking all sorts of negative things. Um, I really like that. And in and, and a, and a story of redemption, if you will. So I, I did like that a lot. Um, and we did see in that aftermath of like the true, I think that was the true ending when you throw Agrippa's head in there. Um, we did see that, you know, Heinrich Agrippa vouched for us for Johan. Because like I said, like, yeah, like there's orbs that like are good, right? Because Johan is, 
in this world too, and he seems like he's chilling or something like that. He's not like Alexander, you know? Um, so... Yeah, I think that's it. That was a great character study, character development of Daniel. I really liked it, and I love how they reference... Um... I think Agrippa referenced like the Bible and the when we first met Agrippa, he was like, Daniel, the the prophet who got thrown into the lion's den and he's like, It seems as if you or it's like it, like do you walk among the lions or something like that. So I really like that, you know? And how it, it's it, it he kinda like, you know, just put that little biblical reference in there to I guess maybe foreshadow of Daniel's redemption arc, you know, where in the Bible I think Daniel becomes the king or something like that. Uh, I, I can't really remember too well, but yeah, he was, you know, he was thrown into the lion's den. He was at the lowest of the low, of the lows. And in, in the game, we see Daniel, although he made himself forget, we see that he was at the lowest of the lows. He was, he was kidnapping people. He was murdering people, all, the, all for his own selfish desires. But in the end, you know, he snapped out of it and he, um, you know, embarked on this journey to kill Alexander, which was the first note that we received in the, um, the beginning of the game, which, you know, I, I love how it all tied together. I love that little bif biblical reference. But anyways, guys, Justine is coming up next. That's probably the female that Daniel kept on talking about. He was like, don't harm her. Don't, he always would say, don't harm her, don't harm her, or something like, talk about her, 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 you know? So that's, that's probably who... Daniel was referring to in The Dark Descent. So we're going to do that soon. Probably tomorrow. Most likely tomorrow. Um, so like I said, thank you guys everyone who watched, who supported, who liked. Like I said, if you want me to, you know, interact with you, comment down below saying you like the video, you enjoy the video. You know, I'm going to like it, I'm going to pin your comment, do whatever, I'm going to try to reply. Whatever, whatever. Um, but yeah, guys, more horror games coming up. Well, Amnesia. I don't know if we're gonna play any more horror games after this. We're gonna play um, Fears of Hazard Episode Five, but I don't know what I don't know what horror game we're gonna play after this because I, I do not like horror games. But um, I'm gonna I'm, I'm just ranting. I'm just saying random shit at this point. So let me just end this here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys could before you leave, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys so much. Let me know what you guys thought about Amnesia: The Dark Descent. What would you rate it on a scale of one to ten? What did you like about it? What did you not like about it? And we could just have, just have like a discussion about it. I'll, I'll, if you, you know, tell me, I'll, I'll reply to you about it too. Or, some, or I'll like it or something. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. For Amnesia Justine. So thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys in Justine. Okay? Alright, I'm out. Peace!